Cardigans, Step On Me, Guitar Tabs, and Guitar Lesson. Okay, so we'll just have a standard tuning here, EAD, GBE. And at a certain point here, there's, there's two guitars kind of doing different stuff over the top of each other. Nothing too wild though, so this initial intro and chorus riff, um, we can start it here by just doing that big, like, muted string, couple strums. So just, you know, drape your hands over the strings and just do the bop, bop. All right, fun little bit deal there. And that happens twice just before the last chorus, so heads up there. But this uh, intro riff, we start here with just an open D string, slide the two up to four, hit the two G, back to four D, two G. All right, and then we switch to a C position here where we'll hit the three on the A, slide the five up to seven, hit the five D, seven A, and then we'll come down, hit the 5D. Then we come over, hit the 7D, give it a little bend and release, come back off to 5, 3 to 5. All right, and just a heads up at the, the outro, the final chorus there, that little bit there repeats four times. Okay, and on that fourth time, it adds a little extra, like we do the bend on the seven, come back, and then we hit the seven again right there. Then we do the bop, bop, bop. It's just a subtle little extra thing in there at the very end. All right, for the verse, so this is kind of where we eventually we'll get two guitars doing stuff. Um, the first guitar, they're both playing the same chords. They're just playing like different octaves of the chord or different voicings of the chord. So uh, we start here with a D and basically just think of this as we're taking everything we're doing on the G and B string and just chromatically dropping a fret while keeping a five on the high E. All right, so we'll start in this D position where we have the seven G, seven B and that five high E. So that's just a D. And like I said, we're just gonna chromatically descend the G and B string here. So we'll end up with six, six and the five. Okay, do that. Move your fingers a little bit. It's like a D minor or major seven. This is all kind of based around the D bass note happening. All right, and then we just move to fives, which is easy. And this just becomes like a D seven sus two. All right, keep the G and B string going. So we'll end up with fours and then have the five high E. It's D six flat nine without the third. Keep it moving. Three, three, five. D flat six, no three. And then we keep it moving still. This might be a little bit of a stretch for some, so I just, I, I have no problem with it, so I just kind of like to keep the pattern going where I got two, two, and a five. If that's too much of a stretch for you, then you can do, like, you can come back, come back up and do, all right, like hit the, the seven D with a six G and then just, you know, kind of mute the B string and keep that five on the high E. You can do that if like the twos with the five are too much of a stretch for you. Same deal. All right, and 
uh, after that chord, that D major 7 without the 3, we just come back to that initial D position at the 7, 7, 5. All right, and here, technically, like, a second guitar comes in because it's kind of got more of, like, a, a tremolo vibe on it. But you can do it with the, the same guitar um, if you can just kick that effect on and then get right to it. It just does this fun little riff up here on the B and G string where we do uh, 11G, 10B to 12. All right, then we slide up, hit 14s on the G and B. Back down, hit that 11G and 12. Lift the 12 off to 10 on the B, keep the 11G. And then just slide that down to 7s on the G and B. All right, and if you you know you want to switch or you want to you do have a second guitar player or um, you just prefer this voicing of the chords, the second guitar comes in after that first stretch of the verse. It'll come in and it has a little bit more of a tremolo effect on it, and uh, it does the same chords just in a different spot. So uh, we can go up here on the and basically we're using the D G B string, so just up a set of strings. All right, and we'll have the uh, 12 D 11 G 10 B and 10B is gonna be like the note that we just wanna keep throughout. All right, and the pattern shifts a little bit here where uh, we go 11D and then 10s on the G and B. All right, move over, we got 10, 9, 10. All right, then we got 9, 8, 10. And then here, this final chord, um, once this hits, the next pattern basically starts. So you can either hit this chord or you can just like get to the next pattern, which is, you know, probably what you want to do. Uh, but that final chord, eight, seven, six. And the uh, next pattern, which I guess you call this like the pre-chorus, it's a cool little riff. It's all kind of based around like a D flat major vibe. Um, but we'll be over here on the E where we go. Uh, you kick on a little bit of overdrive, a little dirt for this. Uh, six, hit it. Five, six, hit the six A, open D string. And we basically do it again, but we kind of like hold a note or two here and there a little longer, where we'll hit that six E, maybe hold that five E a little bit longer, and then go six E, six A, um, maybe hold that just slightly longer, hit the open D, back to the six A. So just kind of more timing here. It's all the same notes, just messing around with the timing a little bit. And then we can kind of start it over again. Add in a new little kind of stuttering pattern where we go uh, 6E, six 6A. Six six, six Hit that 6A again before we get to the open D. Back to the 6A. Okay, so it's just kind of like very little like stuttering timing things um go through that whole thing a couple times and then we do this scaling up through some major sevens where we do the b major seven uh notes where we go uh six e eight a seven d back to the eight a drop that look down a set of strings so we got the six a eight d seven g back to the eight on the d all right, and then just kind of bar the eights on the G, B, and E. Pick through those. G, B, E, back to B string. Eight, 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 eight. All right, and at that point, we just hit our muted string strums again, and we can start uh, a lot of the stuff over.